Here we are up in the mountains comparing the WeBoost Connect 4G to the Shurkal Fusion 4 Home. Hi, I'm Rob. I'm an engineer and I was bored today so I decided to test some things. And you can always trust a guy in a lab coat. All right, so here we are. We're up in the mountains at a quaint uh, cabin my friend loaned me for the day. He normally doesn't get any cell phone signal at all. I'm told that if we drive two miles down to the road that we can get a signal there, but who wants to drive to the road to make a phone call? So we decided to install the SureCall Fusion 4 Home Signal Booster, and uh, we're gonna give it a try and see what happens. Right now, um, I've got uh, little to no cell phone coverage. Um, so what we've done is I used the SureCall signal meter to point the outside antenna uh, to the best location where I could get the best signal. We ran a wire to inside, and then we've installed the signal booster right here on the inside. How it's supposed to be installed, let's see if it works like they claim it does. Turn it on. Got some blinky lights, it's firing up. All right, so now it's booted up. Uh, we got us a signal of minus 81, which is a pretty usable signal. Um, that's gonna give us about uh, three bars of uh, 3G service. So I went from having no service to three bars of 3G inside the cabin here, which is great. It's good enough to send a, a, a picture, a text message to your friend, showing him how you're in the mountains and he's not. But uh, that's a great usable signal. So we went from nothing to a good minus 81 signal in, in the space of a few minutes of setting up this, this uh, signal booster. So you can see like right here next to the antenna, I've got like a minus 48, which is an unbelievably strong signal. Um, if I go back, that's gonna be full bars. I mean, this is, this is great, great product. And now here we are, we're gonna compare the uh, WeBoost Connect 4G to see how it stacks up. Um, We've installed it like they say, according to the manufacturer's specs. We've installed the antenna outside and ran the wire inside, uh, just like we're supposed to. We have the WeBoost panel antenna here on the wall. Just turning this on, I've got a, about a minus 106. I mean, it's been connected for a while now, which is basically, I'm still bouncing in between no service and some service. Um, from what I'm seeing right here right now, it seems like this is not connected or it's not working like it's supposed to be. Um, there we go. Looks like I'm getting minus 87, a little bit of 3G. That's going to be about two bars, one, maybe two bars of 3G right there. Physically, if we're just talking about the physical attributes, I think the SureCall wins. And I like how it's clearly labeled on each band, so I know which band I'm looking at, as opposed to this one where I got to go get out a manual. And let's be honest, everyone throws those manuals away the second you get the product. Um, another thing I really have noticed is this WeBoost amplifier has been on for about in half hour or so, and it's starting to get really warm. Um, like they're definitely, I can feel that the amp connectors are, are hot to the touch, um, not to the point that they're burning me yet, but it kind of would make me nervous to leave this up here in a cabin unattended for a long period of time. I don't know if it's gonna get so hot that it starts melting the plastic, I just don't know. It, I would probably not sleep easy, you know, being the worry wart that I am about things like that, but, but this SureCall amplifier, I haven't felt it really get warm. It's in a metal container, which means it's gonna dissipate that heat a lot better in my opinion. All right, so just a quick wrap up. Physical characteristics, I'm gonna give it to SureCall. It seems like a lot better built uh, product. Um, it's not, I mean, I like how the WeBoost is lighter, but this SureCall one feels like it's better. It's gonna dissipate heat more. I'm gonna give it, give it to SureCall and the physical attributes. Um, as far as the difference in cell phone signal that I noticed, I'm gonna to have to give that one to SureCall as well. Um, I noticed I got a lot better coverage throughout the cabin with the SureCall signal booster than I did with the WeBoost signal booster. Um, maybe a lot of that has to do with the fact that the WeBoost uh, amplifier ships with a lot uh, smaller outdoor antenna so that Yagi doesn't have as much gain where the SureCall one is a lot larger antenna with a lot more gain. Maybe that's helping it out, but the fact remains is that here in this cabin, the SureCall signal booster clearly outperformed the WeBoost uh, signal booster.